Hey, Sean, well, officials say this explosion happened right behind me here inside Libra Nails and Spa. This is the security station shopping center off Rolling Road. Recovery efforts are now underway as they have been throughout the morning. Crews have been coming and going here throughout the day here. You can see the damage out front, the shattered storefront glass, yellow caution tape outside three of these neighboring businesses here that have been impacted. The owner of this strip mall actually tells me that they are now closed due to water and smoke damage. But I also spoke with a longtime customer here who tells me she's just heartbroken to see the salon in a wreck and says the owners treated everyone here like family. It was like so fast, you know what I mean? And the phone was like, oh my goodness, what's going on? Scary moments at a strip mall in Windsor Mill after a minor explosion rocked this nail salon. Once they heard the explosion, they came running out because they got scared. And then smoke started going. Monday night around 9, Baltimore County Police say officers were called to Libra Nails and Spa for a disturbance call. Once they arrived on scene, they were met with a former employee of the business who refused to leave. As officers were talking to the individual, it was clear that he became distraught. That's when additional assistance from EMS were called to the scene. Reggie Watson says he was in the parking lot at the time this all played out. There was some commotion at the nail salon here, and they were running out of the store. And um, and at that time, that's when, you know, the county starts showing up in a couple of other units. A short time later, detectives say the man ran to the back of the building and started a fire, which was then followed by a small explosion. I can confirm that this was an intentional act by the individual in question. In total, seven people were hurt. Officials say the former employee was seriously hurt and was also taken to the hospital. We're just praying for them, for their, you know, Make sure they're fine and uh, they're healthy. And officials say only one officer and the suspect remain hospitalized this afternoon. Detectives also say that the suspect is now in custody. Charges are still pending. As for the cause of this fire, that still remains under investigation. Reporting live this afternoon, I'm Amy Kawada for WJZ. Amy, thank you.